Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 128. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about some key weaving pattern terms, specifically threading and treadling. Turns out both of these terms refer to the order of something that helps you create then your weaving pattern. So let's start to kind of break that down so you understand what the differences are between those two terms. First of all, threading. Now, I am sitting at the front of my loom. Here's my beater bar. Here are my shafts, just to give you a little orientation. These are my warp yarns going this way through the loom, and these are my weft yarns that are in the shuttle going back and forth. All right, so you know kind of where we are, all that good stuff. So when you're talking about threading, Threading refers to the sequence that the warp yarns go through the shafts. It only has to do with the warp yarns. There's no weft involved, right? It's just the order that you're putting the warp yarns into your shafts. Now, what's so interesting about the word threading is that weavers tend to use it as both a noun and a verb. In both instances, they'll say, I am threading my loom. They will also say, I am following the threading, okay? So don't be, don't be thrown off by that. They'll use it kind of interchangeably, right? But it's just how your warp yarns go into the shafts. Is it one, two, three, four? Is it some kind of modification of that? Whatever it is, that is the threading, okay? So let's talk about the treadling then, our other term in the episode. So treadling refers to, it also has to do with the shafts, but in this case, it's what order are you lifting the shafts? So let's say that we're following uh, the treadling instructions and they say that you need to lift shaft number two is first. Then you throw your shuttle, which that is a pick. Every kind of toss of your shuttle where it goes side to side, that's called a pick lots of vocabulary in this episode. Uh, that's called a pick. Uh, so then you've made your pick. Then you're looking at your treadle and you say, okay, next up is one and three. Okay, throw my shuttle again. So your treadling refers to the order that your shafts are gonna be lifted and lowered to create the pattern that you want to make for your fabric. Now, what's interesting about treadling is that on a floor loom, like the one that I'm sitting at right here, I have pedals down below that are called treadles. So the whole term treadling makes a lot of sense there, right? However, if you're using a table loom that doesn't have pedals below because it's mobile, right? You probably have levers off to the, um, in the front of the loom or off to either side, right? You have levers that will lift and lower the shafts. That process is still called treadling. It's just the process of lifting and lowering your shafts in a certain sequence in an order so that you can create whatever pattern you want to create. Now let's take it one step further and look at a weaving draft so you can see how those pieces fit together in an effort to create your fabric. So uh, I'm pulling out my favorite book, the Ann Dixon Hand Weavers Pattern Directory. If you're just starting out folks, this is my favorite. Just, it's, it's a great option. Okay, so uh, this right here, this is a weaving pattern draft. Now, normally a draft will be ju like just this section, right? But Anne takes it one step further and shows us some other options uh, uh, on her page here. So let's kind of go through the key parts of a draft. Uh, this section here, whatever information is here, this is your threading. This is your instructions for the order of how the warp yards go into the shafts, okay? Uh, this little crossword puzzle section here is called the tie-ups. And this section here is called the treadling. So here are your instructions for how to, what order to lift and lower your shafts to create this fabric right here. So do you see how that all kind of fits together? As you are constructing whatever pattern for you want for your fabric, uh, these are kind of key parts of the process, right? Whatever you're gonna do for the threading and whatever you need to do for the treadling. Those are the key bits. This little tie up, it's kind of a whole other discussion, isn't it? But uh, I have some other videos about that that I'll put in the notes too, so you can follow up there. But you wanna create this fabric, you'll need to know the threading and the treadling for sure. So my goal for this episode was just to kind of make sure that you're very comfortable with those two terms what they mean and how to apply them as you are constructing your fabulous 
hand woven fabric. I hope that all came together for you and you're like, okay, light bulb, I get it now. But if you have any follow-up questions, please let me know in the comments. I am always happy to uh, help clarify for you. All right, my friend, have a wonderful week. Happy weaving.